You know what I want to do? Yeah. What do I want to do? You want to fuck me? But you can't fuck me. Why not? You know why. Because you're a virgin? Because I don't want no baby. You think I want a baby? When you're with me, you don't have to worry about that kind of shit. I just want to make you happy, that's all. I always wanted to be a filmmaker, but I was a photographer, I wasn't a filmmaker. Uh, so I did like a number of books and I photographed for many years and finally I just said, if, if you're actually going to make a film, you have to do it now. The good thing for me was, you know, I'd been hanging with skaters for like over three years. So I had a very, very clear vision of like what I wanted. I knew exactly what I wanted. There was like no, what do I do now? Uh, I knew exactly what I was doing. I wanted to shoot it like it was being shot like a documentary. I, I wanted the audience to be eavesdropping or feel they were eavesdropping on a world that they had no chance to enter at all. And so it was filmed that way. <laughs> it's gonna be a vegetable when you're older, kid. But what was interesting was, was, was uh, Supreme, which is right around the corner, right? and. Uh, 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 opened the store and uh, we all hung out there and like I met Javier there probably and uh, I met um, Joey and uh, Harold and you know almost everybody if I didn't meet him there I met him in Washington Square and and uh, we would like walk over to Supreme you know and so that was a big hangout Supreme was a hangout I like ended up using almost everybody around. And there's that great scene in the park where everybody's saying hello. And they used to do that like every day. It was like, you know, it was a ritual, you know. You always said hello, you always said goodbye, the same way. A couple of people we had cast but couldn't do it because they were in jail, they were in jail. And, um, uh, uh, but most of the cast we chose and then Harmony, um, Harmony wrote for them. Like Harold was Harold, you know. Casper was Justin, you know. Yo, Telly, Jenny says what's up. Yo, Jenny, who? You know Jenny, man. That pretty girl you bought last summer. Oh man, I haven't seen her in forever. What's she up to? Yo, Telly says what's up. You didn't want to speak to me, that dick. You still mad at him? Oh. Of course I am. How am I gonna forgive him after what he did? Well, what did he do? He stole her virginity. Oh. He took it away, <laughs> and now it's gone. Forever. The girls were a little difficult to find because we had to find girls that were actually 18 that looked 12. You know, Chloe was cast completely against type. She was, she was a club girl. She was around. You know, uh, it was all scripted. There was no improv except one scene. Uh, the four boys on the couch towards the end of the movie, the party. Those guys just like showed up from San Francisco. Three of them did, and like came over because because they like knew the skaters. And I saw him and I said, man, you know, you know, I, I like ha have to do something. So, so I stuffed them on this little couch about this wide, and they were like this. And, um, and I said, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this. And it's just magic. It was probably the best scene in the film. It was just incredible. We like talked for about 10, 15 minutes, yeah, and then and then I cut it, and uh, they were like pretending to smoke marijuana, ha ha ha, and uh, uh, it could have been real, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know, but I do know that some of the crew, uh, after the scene, there was some problems, and some of the crew wanted to quit and stuff, so, yeah, they thought that maybe I shouldn't be filming 13, 12 year old kids smoking weed, but wasn't my weed. The thing I liked about it uh, then was it was so not commercial. There wasn't like a certain kind of clothes you had to wear. The whole thing was, well, you know, um, you know, you know, whatever to skate. 
You wear what you're comfortable in. Everybody dressed differently. There was no uniform. You didn't have to have these shoes and that shirt or nothing. Now you see kids with, you know, dressed to the nines with brand new skate clothes on and carrying a skateboard. They never skated in their life. You know, it's just a look now. Well, you know, the biggest compliment that I ever had for the film was uh, after it came out, it was, it was in a theater, uh, and a kid stopped me in the street who was, who was like an extra in the film, an extra skater. And he said, Larry, you know, um, I just saw the, uh, the movie, and it wasn't like a movie, it was like real life. And I went, wow, man, that's, a, that's, you know, you know, that's the best thing that, you know, that anybody could have said to me. It was really the highest compliment. It was, there was a very, very period, a weird, weird period there, but there was some shit before the Supreme Court and they were kind of cracking down. So, uh, so we had to be careful. And like uh, two years after the film was made, it, 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 it could not have been made. It was just a little period that we were able to make it. And, uh, uh, so everything fell into place. It was just very supposed to happen. Supposed to happen. When you're young, not much matters. When you find something that you care about, then that's all you got. When you go to sleep, at night you dream of pussy. When you wake up, it's the same thing. It's there in your face. You can't escape it. Sometimes when you're young, the only place to go is inside. That's just it. Fucking is what I love. Take that away from me, and I really got nothing. Jesus Christ, what happened?